There we go. We are recording. Okay. So happy Sunday, Saturday, Saturday, not Sunday. See, look, you guys, <laughs> happy Saturday. We are revamping the inspiration zoom um, just because I feel like it's super, super important for us to know exactly who's on our team, their stories. And I think that um, getting kind of a feel of when it feels like we can't do it, hearing someone else's story can completely give you the fire that you needed to be like, you know what, I can do this. Um, so tonight we get the honor of listening to Tracy's story. And I'll tell you what, and I will tell you this, my whole promoting journey, when I think I can't do this, she automatically pops in my head because I mean, if you don't know who Tracy is, like, 10 kids. That's all I have to say. And does this man and kills it. So tonight I'm going to give the floor to Tracy and let her basically just inspire us. And hopefully you guys get off the zoom with as much fire as you did when you first started, or she has more than 10 kids. All of us, all of us too. <laughs> she is amazing. So Tracy, whatever you want to say, you have the floor. Okay, perfect. So if I was going to go into like my customer story, as well as my promoter story, we would be here all night. So I'm going to keep the customer side real short, um, like the basics behind it. I used to be super mom. And then I had um, the baby that I conceived and carried for my brother. And obviously that leaves you with some sort of emotional turmoil after you carry life and then, you know, give it to its parents, whatever. Um, it's not a it, his name is Jude. He's amazing. But um, that left me with some sort of emotional issues that I was trying to deal with. And immediately after that, I got pregnant again, um, which is our very first oopsie baby, <laughs> which is so, so funny. And like, just brings me back to like, God knows what he's doing. And he like puts you in the right place at the right time and all of that. But um, obviously getting pregnant, all those hormones and all of those things, it I was never able to get out of that dark place. So I went from being super mom and being able to handle everything that came with having nine kids at that time to miserable, exhausted, moody, grumpy, pregnant, having a ton of issues. Um, then we had to have him early. He was born seven weeks early, all kinds of problems. He was in the NICU for weeks. It was awful. Um, all of that combined with like the other nine needing me, just, it was too much. I mentally, emotionally, physically could not handle being a mom anymore. All I thought about every single day was like, where do I go? How can I leave? Am I, can I just like leave? And like, they stay here. Like they don't need me. Like I'm not doing anything for them anyway, whatever. Um, and I saw Alicia's post at just the right time um, and decided, you know what? I'm going to go for it. I'm going to order the product. Obviously the product worked for me very, very well. Did a complete 180. Um, so what brought me from feeling better and being a customer for about a month and a half to deciding to be a promoter is I finally, I finally saw a vision. I, I went from like, this product is great to seeing the vision. And I think that that is the most important thing about being a promoter. If you don't have something, whether it's a trip, a car, a big paycheck, or some sort of bonus. If it, if you don't have that vision in your mind that you can see yourself achieving this thing and how amazing it would be for you, your life, your kids, your friends, your family, whatever, I don't think that you're going to be able to push forward through all of the muck because life is mucky all of the time. Whether you are a promoter or not, whether you are working a nine to five or not, whether you have 10 kids, five kids, two kids, or no kids, whether you suffer from depression, anxiety, things like that, or you suffer from nothing, no matter what, life is mucky and situations are going to arise and life is going to get hard. So you have to be able to have that vision. And it's okay for that vision to change. It's okay for that vision to be fluid and, and change on a weekly basis or a monthly basis or whatever. That's why we have vision boards. And that's why we check off these goals that we set and all of those things. So the initial vision for me was Jamaica. That was it. 
I didn't care about the auto bonus. I didn't care about VIP 800, VIP 1600. I didn't care about the paychecks. I saw Jamaica and that was what I was running for, which is super funny because VIP 800, VIP 1600, the weekly paychecks, all of that stuff comes before Jamaica. You can't qualify for a lifestyle getaway into your 12K, right? And not only that, but you have to be 12K multiple months. Like you can't even just be 12K one month. You have to do it two months and you have to do all of these other things, right? But I claimed it the day I, I hit the promoter button. I made a post saying, this is what I'm going for. I'm going to be in Jamaica with my husband. I'm going to have my very first vacation. And I did whatever I had to do in the, in between that day and me getting 12 K on day 60, and then having to get 12 K again to earn that trip. I did everything that I had to do to get there. I got on every zoom. I woke up at three o'clock in the morning. I went to bed at midnight every night. I did what I needed to do for my kids throughout the day. And I made time in the pockets of my day in the wee hours of the morning in the late hours of the night. And I did what I needed to do to get to that vision because it was mine. Does that make sense? Like I saw myself there. That's what I wanted. So if you see yourself at VIP 800, if that's your vision, get there, do whatever the hell it takes, get there. If you see yourself at Puerto, I can't speak Spanish. I don't know how to pronounce this place. The next lifestyle getaway, Puerto Vallarta, whatever it's called. If you see yourself there, if that's your vision, you do whatever it takes to get there. If your vision is 12K to get the auto bonus, freaking do it. Just do it. Like no, nothing can stand in your way. Not a single thing, nothing. Alicia, I'm sorry. I'm going to probably make you cry real quick. I'm very sorry. Alicia lost a whole ass child. Okay. If she can lose a whole entire human being that was growing inside of her and still wake up every day and do her job to get her to that vision that she has, not a single one of us should be derailed by something that's going on in our life. If you are, then your vision wasn't there. And that's okay. Your vision doesn't have to be there, right? Nobody's going to hold a gun to your head and say like, you have to have this same vision that I have. But if your vision, I'm going to assume if you're on this Zoom right now, you have some sort of dream from this company, right? I mean, I think that's a pretty safe assumption that you, you have some sort of goal that you want to get here in this company. So if you're on this Zoom and you have a vision in this company, nothing should be able to get in your way. It's not going to always be easy. It's not going to always be pretty. It's not going to always come like sunshine and rainbows like you want it to. It might be something that you have to fight tooth and nail for. It might be something that you really have to do some hard shit to get. Okay? But that doesn't make the vision any less like achievable. It doesn't make it any less perfect. It doesn't make it any less yours. It's still worth it, right? No matter what you have to go through to get there, it's still worth it. So that's, that's the only difference between me becoming a promoter and having 10 kids and homeschooling and doing all of the things that I, I have done and overcome throughout the last 21 months. The only difference between me and other people who haven't done it is that they quit and I didn't. They let life get in the way and I didn't. They let their, oh, I have to do this for my kids and all that stuff. There's always a way, you know what I mean? It might not be a pleasant way. It might not be something that you're super freaking jazzed about. Let me tell you, if you think that me waking up at three o'clock in the morning is something that I am jazzed about, you are outside your mind. I do not like waking up at three o'clock in the morning. I would love to be able to get some sleep every once in a while, right? But I do it because I need to do it because that's what has to happen for me to be able to get my work done tend to my kids the way that I need to tend to my kids, do their schooling, clean my house, cook dinner, be a wife to my husband, work in the late hours of the night and get myself to that vision. That, I mean, that's just plain and simple. And I mean that with as much love as humanly possible. Like everybody struggles. Everybody has these hard days and these hard times. And I, I am like the first person to be there for people like that. You know what I mean? I will sit there and I will tattoo you all day long and I will have 400 million conversations with you about how your life sucks right now and try to help you come up with a solution and all of those things. But at the same time, I'm also going to tell you like either you want it or you don't want it. 
And I'm sorry if that like offends anybody, but either you want it or you don't want it. So you either need to get the hell up and do the work or you need to just go and find something else that gives you that vision. You know what I mean? Like what, whatever is going to spark that joy in you, you need to do it. And this right here, this journey, these Zooms, training you guys every single morning, running for these bonuses with you, watching you hit VIP 800, VIP 1600, getting a new customer, earning your first um, auto bonus, earning your first lifestyle getaway, hitting all of these awesome achievements, right? That is what brings me joy. That is what sparks that vision every single day for me over and over and over. I get to help Brittany do it this time. I get to help Katie do it this time. I get to help Dakota do it this time. Oh, look, Haley just hit her auto bonus. That's freaking awesome. Like if you're not looking at the people around you hitting those things and being filled with joy, if it's bringing you down, if you're sad about it, if you're struggling in your life, you need to reevaluate your vision. That's, that's like, obviously I'm only one person and everybody can have their own opinion about it and all of those things, but that's just the way. Yeah. And I will, I will cry like a little biatch at every single achievement that every single one of you hit, because it's, I know what it feels like to hit those. And I haven't hit mine yet. You know what I mean? Like I got my, my, I got my Jamaica trip and that was amazing. And I got my auto bonus and that was amazing. But my goal after that, like I went from 12K being my goal to my goal being 200K. And I haven't hit mine yet, but along this last two years, I have sat here and I have watched every single one of you guys and almost missed 12K. Yeah, that that happened. And she gave me like four ulcers and I wanted to like reach through my phone and smack her, but I still cried with her. Um, anyway, people who are watching the recording are like, what are you talking about? There's stuff in the chat. Like this is why you should be on the Zoom instead of watching the recording. Um, but seeing all of you guys hit your bonuses and your, whatever your achievement is like, oh my God, I'm thriving for free. Hell yeah. That is amazing. That is huge. That is awesome. And I will cry with you over that. Like, I will be so excited for you about that because that is what brings me joy. So find what brings you joy and push forward with it. Okay. I got, whenever I started, my eye was on 12K. I got VIP 800, but I did not get VIP 1600. And in fact, to get VIP 800, it took me all 14 days. Okay. I was like a snail speed. <laughs> I did not know what I was doing. I was not, I was not who I am right now. I had not completely immersed myself in all of the trainings. I had not completely immersed myself in like learning from the leadership that we have before us and all of those things. So that would be my second tip for you. Make sure you have your vision right and make sure you pour every part of your time that you can. Like, I'm not saying like, tell your family to go eat like rocks for the entire week, right? Like you still have to take care of your family, but pour your extra time that you have into our resources. I don't know why you wouldn't in the first place. Like that's how you learn. That's how you see Zooms like this where you can hear other people's experiences, get ideas for how to talk to customers and all of those things. So then you have the tools in your toolbox to be able to get VIP 800, 1600, 4K, 12K and all of those things. So I got my VIP 800. I did not get 1600. I got my 4K within my first 30 days. So I got, at that time, it wasn't Maui Gym. It was an iPad bonus. So I got the cash for that. And that was great. That paid for groceries for a week, right? Everybody else that buys them an iPad that paid for groceries for a week for my family. You know what I mean? My, the monetary side of it is something that is so desperately needed for us that it's not even like, not that I don't enjoy it. Obviously I enjoy getting a nice paycheck, but that immediately goes to something that it needs to pay off. Right. You know what I mean? It's not something that I get to play with. It's not something that I get to go out and like, I don't get to like go on trips and stuff like that with my family yet because there, our situation is different. We have so many. So this last check was another one of my big goals for second to last check that we got was another one of my big goals for me. I finally got to a specific number amount that I wanted to get to on my check. And I was able to turn around and spoil people with it. I was able to buy planners for my team. I was able to send my leaders money just because I was able to buy them Valentine's day gifts. I was able to do the things that I find joy in, right? That's another thing that I've been able to check off, right? Pushing for those things, keeping that vision alive, knowing if I sell this next box, it's going to increase my check by another $240. If I sell this next box, it's going to increase my check by another $240 and I'm going to be able to do this with it, right? Or I'm going to get another promoter who's ready to run for VIP 800 and 1600 and all those things. I'm going to be able to watch them soar through all of these goals and bring myself so much joy helping them do that. Whatever your vision is, stay on it. 
pour yourself into the resources and don't let other people dictate how you run your team. I think I said that the right way. Like do what you know is best for you and your team, because there's going to be, there's going to be a ton of people that try to tell you that you're doing it wrong. There's going to be a ton of people that try to tell you that you're the bad guy and that you didn't help enough. There's going to be a ton of people that tell you that they don't like the way that you lead. There's going to be a ton of people who just all of a sudden leave your team chat and go off and do their own thing. You can't let those people slow you down because then you can't help all the other people that you have. Right. And I've had that happen like five times already, (laughs) like five times already. If it can happen to me, it can happen to every single one of you guys. Okay. So don't let other people dictate how you run your team. Don't let other people dictate what you think about yourself. Keep your vision alive. Pour yourself into the resources. What else? I think that's really like, I think that's really all I do, you know? Oh, and always, always be like in love with your product. I think that is a huge one. If you're not, if, if your system doesn't feel like it's working for you, like change some stuff up, like figure out what is going to help you feel really, really good every single day because that's our product is gold and that's what we're running with to help people, right? We, We need to feel good. We need to feel our product working and feel amazing in order to be able to turn around and tell our customers, hey, if you take these three steps, it's gonna help you with X, Y, and Z and you're gonna feel amazing, right? So make sure that you're always being mindful of that. Hillary and I have said from day one, if you're not actually thriving, like if you're not feeling good and you're thriving and you're like, yes, then why are you here? You know what I mean? So like, if there's ever a time, which hopefully that won't ever happen, but if there's ever a time that you feel like, man, I'm just tired and I'm, I'm worn out and I'm not thriving right now and I'm not having fun and this isn't joyful anymore. You need to take a step back for a second and reevaluate and figure it out. Maybe it's your vision. Maybe it's your products. Maybe you need to like change it up what you're doing. Maybe you need to drink more water, whatever it might be, figure it out so that you're constantly feeling that joy. Right. I think Haley, can agree with me on that one too. Like she just told me not 10 minutes before the zoom that she's finally feeling some like physical changes in her body. She's gotten back to working out, which is something that the hurricanes and and mindset and all of those things derailed for her. She's finally gotten back into working out. She's feeling really, really good physically. And it's helping her in her business because it affects your mindset so much. So if you're not feeling good, if you're not feeling like full of energy and excited and happy and ready to go, Figure out what it is that you need to fix about that. The pandemic totally jacked up my workouts too. I was going to the gym every day for the first time in my life and I was loving it. And the pandemic totally jacked that up. So now I need to like stop blaming COVID for me not going to the gym. And I need to like wear the stupid mask and go to the stupid gym so that I can get back to feeling good again, you know, feeling like physical changes happening and all of that stuff. I think that's all I have. Like, I don't know if you want me to answer any other questions or not. If anyone has any questions, you guys feel free to ask. Um, I think everyone on the Zoom should know who Tracy is. Um, She's probably touched your life at some point. Um, And if she hasn't, somehow, I don't know how it's happened. I don't know how that happened (laughs) because she talks to everybody. Um, So does anyone have any questions for her or... um, Any questions about Tracy who Dakota, (laughs) you know what? (laughs) I can't with her, her and her dad all the time. time. (laughs) All of Um, them. But I definitely agree with um, the, especially feeling like you, you know, the product itself. um, I think. I mean, everything you said was super, super important, like as far as the promoter side, but like, how do you expect to go into groups and be a thriver if you don't feel that way? So I'm so glad that you pointed that out um, because maybe the premium isn't for you or maybe black label isn't for you. Um, If it's not like talk to your upline, talk to them. Like I'm sure Tracy will troubleshoot with you, like figure out what it is because most of us are not even like we're all on the same team, but we're not. And it doesn't even matter. Um, so I hope you guys have an awesome, <laughs> just that amazing, an awesome Saturday night, not Sunday. Um, and if you're watching the recording, you know, drop a little, little love, 
little follow. And um, I guess we'll see you guys next Saturday. Bye. Thank you guys. Tracy's groupies. <laughs> oh, my Lanta.